Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is calculate the inbreeding coefficient of X. So this individual. And we assume that this is inbreeding of the animals because this is very close relatives inbreeding which we usually do not see in humans. So uh, if you do not understand this arrow pedigree I also can represent you this pedigree in different form. For example S here would be a male. As you see, sexes here are not shown. So we can assign any sex and this is not going to affect our calculation. So this is going to be individual S and also I'm going to show here individual which is not shown in this arrow pedigree because here we only show genetic flow, flow of the genetic information so let's say that this is going to be individual Q and they have a daughter who is shown here as a D on the uh, arrow pedigree and also we have here a consanguineous mating so father mates with its daughter and they have a progeny X and again Sex is not important, so I would use this sign and it's going to be individual X. So what is the inbreeding coefficient of the X? I want to show you another pedigree, which is similar to this one, but this time I will assume that individual S is female. So let me draw another pedigree. So individual S is female, so we put S on top and individual Q is going to be a male. So individual Q here. This time they should have male progeny because we are going to see here, this is individual D. We have to see that individual S and D contribute the genes, the uh, half of the genome to individual X. So we have here a mating which we show with double line because this is consanguineous mating and this is going to be again sex is not important individual X. So as you see what we see here can be represented by this pedigree and this pedigree but this is not going to affect our calculations of the inbreeding of the individual X. I want to show you today also three different methods how we can calculate inbreeding of the individual X and first one would be to count how many nodes in a uh, loop we have here and our loop is going to be as follows. So this is going to be the only loop here. So we have one node here and here is going to be another node on this loop and we do not take into account this node here individual X for whom we calculating coefficient of inbreeding. So our calculations are going to be as follows. So one half times two. Two here stands for number of nodes. And this is going to be one quarter inbreeding coefficient of the individual X or 25%. Another method would be to count passes or pathway method. For example, we have to assume that individual S is um, genotype is follows A1 and A2 alleles for certain locus. So what is the probability that individual X would inherit uh, two A1 alleles and would be homozygous. 50% chances here then 50% chances here and here. So we can say that this is going to be one half power three. But also this individual can be homozygous for the gene or allele A2. So can be A2, A2 genotype and would be also homozygous would have two identical alleles. We say identical by descent. And the probability would be as follows. Again, 50% chances here, 
50% chances here and 50% chances here. Again, this is going to be one half power three. And this means one half power two. And this is one quarter. So as you see, we got the same answer, but maybe this explanation would give you more clear understanding how inbreeding works. So the first method we call note method. It's a little bit faster. The second method we say pathway method where we have to count passes. But as you see, the answer is going to be the same 25%. And now the third method. Take a look at the statement. If neither parent is inbred, and as you see, this parent is not inbred. This parent is also not inbred. It is a daughter of individual S, but daughter is not inbred. She have mother and father who are not related. So again, if neither parent is inbred, but if they are related, and of course, as you see, they are related, father and daughter. They are parents of individual X. The inbreeding coefficient of their progeny is a half of their coefficient of relatedness. So how father and daughter are related. Daughter got 50% of her uh, genetic makeup from father's side, another 50% from the mother's side. So any parent have 50% relatedness to their progeny. So we can use now this formula and this time F, which stands for the uh, coefficient of inbreeding. So F of X would equal one half R stand for the relatedness coefficient of relatedness between father and daughter are going to be 50% or one half. So uh, we can say that R of S and D. So let me use different color. S and D relatedness of the S and D individuals would be one half. So this is going to be the same as one half times one half. And we are going to get one quarter, which is also 0 0.25 or 25%. So as you see, you can use any of the three methods which I show you today. Just choose which one you like most and every time you are going to get the same results. One more time, coefficient of inbreeding of the individual X, F of X would be 50% of the coefficient of relatedness of his or her parents. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.